So I'm on Tilly. She's had like know, four or five days off because I couldn't get to her. So uh, taking her out on trail. She's been much better. This was the horse that used to be very anxious by herself. But she's gotten braver and quieter until today. So, and she's had some time off, so I don't expect her to be great. Let's hope she's decent. So she's fine by herself. Um, she's fine with other horses she likes to follow, so she's not a lead horse. And when they jump like that, you keep yourself right in the middle. And of course my reins are short on her because I know she does stuff like that. And there's a horse hiding in the trees right here to the left. You can't even see him at all. And she's not going to see him, so I expect right when we get here, she might jump. Can you smell that's a horse? Yeah. So it's hiding in the bushes like it's the jungle. Good girl. So overall, she handled that pretty, you know, pretty well. And we got the farm workers up here, so we'll see how that goes. So I don't want to come out and walk slow and lollygag. I want to come out and go forward to get her by all this stuff. Because she's going to suck back if she gets scared. So we want to have some forward movement. I do have spurs on and a stick to help her if she stops responding to me. That'll give her a little bit more pressure to want to keep going. Uh, you got to use the tools correctly, but you need tools if you have a horse that has issues. That's why these things were made, not to torture the horse, but to help you to get through things. And some horses, you just got to wear the things until you get through them a couple of times and you're fine. Other horses, you have to wear spurs all the time. Well, you don't have to do anything, but it helps because they're either too dull without them or they're unresponsive or they're too spooky and won't go by things. So that scarecrow thing's going to come up here. Girl. So she's sucking back. I'm squeezing with my legs. Good girl, you got this. Because again, she stopped a whole bunch of times in the beginning when I started around here and now we're not stopping anymore. We gotta go. So the strawberry things will be up here. Good girl. So she tried to canter. Good girl. She's the one who can canter. There's the trucks coming at us. You got this. Come on. Good girl. And breathe. You got this. Don't go. Yeah. Good girl. Girl. So this is scary for her. Even though she's fine with trucks, they're on the side. There's a guy in the back. Hi! Hi. Thank you! Hi. <laughs> good girl. Please. I came in here. So she did good. Good girl. She's trying to do the right thing. Because I always cantered her up here. Good girl. I'm trying to get her to canter because she's trying to. Look, Mama, I'm doing it. So, even though she's anticipating, I'm letting her do it. Good girl. You can still only get so many steps in a row, but that's okay. So that was awesome for Tilly to go buy all that stuff by herself. Woohoo! What a good girl! What a good girl! You did such a good job. She did great. That could have been bad. See some of these horses, they need someone brave to take them out here. Like, you're fine. Come on, let's just do it. But. Okay, now we got the steps going. So what I want you to notice is how slow she's coming out here now. I have to push her. So she's much quieter. Now, of course, on the way home, what's going to happen? She's going to speed up because who doesn't want to go home? Even though we've been working on it, if you know, I work on her the least because she's not one of the horses in training. So I get to her last. You're okay. So there's probably a deer in the tree, so I'm going to shorten up. Because what do you think what would be out here? Well, it could be a balloon. It could be a deer out mine or bobcat or something so you want to shorten up and be ready for whatever it is and breathe good girl but we don't want to stand there and wait for it to jump out at us it's just 
go. It's different when you can see something, but if you can and you sit there and something does pop out, well, your adrenaline was running the whole time you were waiting for it. Alright, but this is good. Good girl. So, if I wanted to, look. She's on a totally loose rein walking slow. So if you look back at her anxious video, you'll see the difference. And this isn't even being consistent enough. I get her out here a couple times a week, maybe. Once or twice. From these trees. She's doing good. She's much calmer. Her heart's not beating fast. She's not nervous. Well, she's a little nervous, but she's not bad. So we're going to stop and check our girth. Always check your girth after you've been on for a little bit. Learn how to tighten it up while you're on there if you can. Um, so it's pretty good, but she blows up a lot, so I usually tighten it four or five times. You don't want to find out it's loose when the horse is spinning and your saddle sideways. Good girl. So very good. So we're gonna we want to gate a little bit just in case she does have extra energy since she wasn't out. And I did lunge her before I came out, but not real hard. And yesterday I just ran her around, and then before that I was gone. But she's gating nice. She's calm. She's getting the hang of this. And remember in that one video, so I said it might take a year to get her through this. Okay, so we're gonna practice some canter steps. Let's try for the right first. So I'm going to turn her left. Good girl. And her good girl. Good girl. So again, her can is really up because she can't figure out what to do with her legs. Good girl. Oops, oh, it's to the left. Now she lost her canter. She went back to gating. Canter. Good girl. Now she lost it. That went into the gate. That's okay. Now you just try again when that happens. Good job. So the steeper it is, the easier it is for her. She has a hard time on the flat. She gates so well. She gets so lateral in her the gate. The canter's more diagonal, so she can't figure out her legs. So I usually got to stop, back up, or make sure she's just walking. So let's try one step here. So I'm going to turn her right, and right leg, canter. She tried, but she kind of faked it, so let's try it again. Can her. Good girl. So again, we're just trying to get steps here and there and then build on it over time. And she's older, so this is going to take a long time, you know. Maybe someday it'll be perfect, maybe someday it won't, but at least she's better than she was. That's her trying to keep her. Right? She's like, I'll try for you. Good girl. Can her. Good girl. So just here and there, try to get one step. Then the horses don't give it as much anxiety versus you get to the bottom of the hill and you're trying to gallop up, get in the canter, and that makes them very anxious. So just one step, go back to walking. One step, go back to walking or gating, and then repeat. Over time, they won't be as nervous about it. So this is a nice big hill, so they don't want to start here. It's going to be even too hard for them. I'm going to start as we're going up the hill. Okay, ready? Can it? Girl. She lost it, but she got it. I want her to go a little faster because that's a hard hill, and if she goes too slow, it's too difficult to even get up it. So, good girl. This is a good job. Good job. So, she's gotten much, much better. right there. So up here there's two horses. They'll be hiding in the shade and they might run out and scare her a little bit. There they are. So we're going to go down the hill and when I rode up before they galloped up behind me on the other horse. The other horse did fine but we'll see how Tilly does. I'm going to turn around in a minute. Tilly. Good girl. See if she'll just sit here. Good girl. You're doing a good job. 
So again, once I turn around, then I don't know if those other horses are going to run off as I get closer to the top of the hill. So you just want to be ready for it. You know, when you know something's on the right like that, you keep your left leg and your left rein on. It's just trying to canter, which is nice, but there's little gullies there. There they go. It's okay. Good girl. You're fine. Look, it's those goofballs. There they are. Hey, goofy guys. Yeah. You guys are pretty. You do that every day. He's like, yeah. He scares every day. Good girl. Good girl. So even with that, she spooked. She went a little sideways, but nothing crazy. 100% better than she was when I first took her out here. Can you see she's pretty relaxed. Her head's down. She's not trying to take off. This is pretty slow for her. But overall, she's doing very well. I do have to pay attention with her and her feet because she's not the most sure-footed horse. Her feet's excellent, but some of those horses drag their toes a little bit. Due to her conformation also, and her feet are she can get a little trippy, so I try to watch the ground as best as I can to help her. Factors come up on the left, so keep your right rein, right leg against them. Anywhere, like there's drop-offs on both sides, so I'm going in the middle. I'm not going by the side, because something scares her, it'll go off of it. People think horses don't jump off cliffs, they do, they do it all the time. So you always try to stay in the middle, and keep your leg on them to hold them if you think something might scare them on one side. And if they're just too goofy, you just get off. Because there's lots of stories about horses jumping off cliffs. They're not trying to kill themselves, they just don't know it is going to kill them and the rider. So they just spook and then whoop, they're up in the air and they're down the cliff, rolling over. Don't risk it. So same here, you see the dirt in the middle? So I could go on the left, you can see the drop off, that's not pretty. Or I can go on the right under this tree, where I have a tree to block me and bushes. So I'd rather hit those things than go tumbling down that. So I'm going on the right. So these are things, you know, people don't think of, it's just like driving, like where's the safer place to go? I'd rather hit trees than roll down the cliff. I tried to can her, but she didn't get herself organized, did you? But she tries to just do stuff like that. So. But look, now she's she's still back down. Good girl. Good job, Tilly. Good job. But always be aware of your surroundings. If you can see where there's drop-offs or places where the footing's given out or it's not safe, you do your best you can or you know, get off. It's harder for the horse to get you over it if it's very treacherous versus the horse gets himself over it and you get yourself over it. Unless you don't walk well, then that's a different situation. Okay, so let's stop her and see. Oh, good girl, Tilly. Good girl. You're such a good girl. So before, when she was anxious, she was jumping up in the air when I did that. So again, see, much, much better, but time and effort and just repeating it when I could. And it took a long time just because I get to her last, so I always get to practice. Good girl. So she just swap leads in the back. When your horse is cantering and it does something weird and then it canters back off, that's usually what they're doing is swapping to either the correct lead or the wrong lead behind. And if it feels crazy when you're going up the hill, you feel like their legs are all over, they're on one lead in the front and a different one in the back. That's why it's helpful to teach them in the arena to get them stronger and organized. Do all that gymnastic work I show you in the canter videos. If they get stronger, it makes it easier for them. Now we're going through the narrow area. Again, she's 
seems quite calm, and she is compared to how she was before. Because we were flying in through this. So we're still at the half haul. She's still a little fast, because she does not like being out by herself. But she's doing it for me, and I appreciate it. Now we're on the narrow part. Easy. Good girl. So talking like that with your mouth open makes you breathe which makes you relax which helps the horse relax so take deep breaths and anytime you're nervous try to relax everything because you want to tense up and hold and that just makes them go faster the girl is okay so she shortened her gait it's a little bit choppier now because she's nervous but she hasn't sped wet um, she's not speeding way up so Again, her gates aren't going to be perfect when she's nervous. I know that. And, uh, she's doing what she can. She's trying to hold herself together. She's like, I'm trying, Mama. I'm trying, but I'm scared. I'll have to look back on the other video to see how long ago that was. Oh, the girl. Remember, even though they're anxious, try to stop once in a while. Girl, you're okay. So the other time I stopped in the video, she was jumping up and down. She was trying to canter. She's like, what do I got to do so we can go down the hill? And then she was trying to canter down the hill. Even though she's a little fast here, this is much better. I'll just keep half halting, try not to hang on them. She's doing pretty good, so I'm not serpentine or anything. Yeah, she's got her hind quarter underneath her. And I'll just keep half halting, otherwise she's going to speed up. Almost home, you know, stuff. So again, much, much better. Just flat walking, but it's fine. So up here in these bushes is going to be a horse. He's hiding in the shade. You know, so she's getting nervous. You can see him a little. I think he came out of it. There he is. Yeah, there he is. I told you he was coming. Let's see, he always hides right there. Pudgy. Good girl. Yeah, okay. No. 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 She's trying to can her. No. No, why is she trying to can her? I don't know. Sometimes you just don't know. It's okay. Oh. She's like, because I don't want to walk around the barn. You like to can her. start jumping up and down like that, don't freak out. Just slide the bit, tell them no. You can push their hind quarter very lightly over because if you give more leg, they might go up more. And try turning them because if they turn their hind quarters, they usually can't get the power to go up in the air. It doesn't bother me. It just feels like a merry-go-round. Until the merry-go-round has a problem. So it's the door that's open, it's dark, and maybe they're doing something there. Good girl, you're okay. She just has heat walking around this bar and everything. It scares her. Alright, this is probably making some of your horses look good. No. Good girl. Oh, see, she's going sideways, so right rein, right leg, I'm going to turn her. There we go. Okay. Just go with it. It's like your car skidding. Go with it and then turn it. There we are. Trainers like that. Oh, not bad horses, but challenging horses because it makes us better. It makes us better riders. It makes us think. It makes us learn. And, uh, so that's what Tilly does. Oh, it's 
here. Come on, we're gonna go in here. She hates this part. Look, they fixed the boards, Tilly. That should help you. So she hated this because it was open. I think she couldn't see with the holes and stuff, so it looks much better. So now we're gonna go in here and can her some. But overall, she did very well. Look, she's not panicked or anything. She don't want to go in here, but that's besides the point. You have to. Now she just yanked on the bit. Right? A lot of horses will do that. So when she does it, I'm just holding. Now I'm making her put her head down again because she did that. And I just held. Don't fight with them. Just hold and don't give in. Okay, okay so we're gonna go to the right first. I'll videotape it, but it's probably not gonna come out too much. And this mare's a little bit of a troublemaker. She's a distractor. Good girl. Hannah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So there she got like four steps in a row. We'll try it again over here. One. Two, three. Now we're sideways. It's okay. Canner. One. No. Nope. We're gonna stop her. So we're all crooked. And then she's not she's gating. She's not cantering. So she's not giving the right answer. So you just try to stop them. She's pulling on the bit, so I'm holding. I'm trying to hold my hands up so you can see. She's pulling, so I'm holding. I'm not pulling back, I'm just holding. Hold. Good, now she gave in, so now I'm going to start again. Good girl. Ready? Canner. One. 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 Two. Three. Four. Good girl. Good girl. So she fakes the movement because she can't do it so well. Good girl. So she kind of just jumps up and down, but that's okay. It's better than what she used to do. There we go. Good girl. Okay, so now we're gonna give her a little treat. She tries. Again, when they haven't been cantering well, and then you canter them, and you get something like that, well, it's better than she did, so be happy with it. Someday I might get a real canter, and I might just bounce up and down a lot. It's okay, it's fun. <laughs>